What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol PLAY for Dave and Busters. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. You can see our prior levels, but more importantly, we do have an earnings announcement to contend with. So I want to do a couple of things. Firstly, let's clear that drawing set and start from scratch here. And then let's turn on the extended hour session and see what's going on with the numbers. So, quite a bit of volatility. I mean, my goodness, looking an overnight low that was way down here sub 30 and then an overnight high as of right now that was way up closer to about 3650 so all over the place in the post market it's not abundantly clear to me whether or not we'll open on a gap up or gap down for tomorrow's session noting that the current price is 3440 just kind of at the highs of today's session so knowing that information that's going to make the trade um is a little bit more difficult to pull off uh, on tomorrow's session and just like we talked about i believe it was an s for sentinel one today uh there's a couple of things to watch out for that are not our conventional sort of um, outlooks on gap up and down. So let's, of course, put in our overnight high, the overnight low. Those numbers are subject to change, but I would imagine based on the range there that they do hold. Let's take a look at the daily, okay? This is going to be the easiest way to explain what to potentially watch out for on tomorrow's session. Note that we're opening towards the highs of the session instead of the lows, right? So let's just assume for the sake of today's video that we open closer to the highs and not at the lows. If we open at the highs, what does that tell you about anyone who went short into the close here on Tuesday's session, right? They are all essentially underwater. If they start to close their position, what do we get? Well, certainly a little bit of a squeeze. I use that term very carefully here, quote unquote squeeze, right? It's just simply added buying pressure. They have to close out their positions. They do so by buying. Maybe we make our way back up towards that overnight high at 36.51. So that's the scenario that I would really start to watch out for here inside of play. You're literally playing off of people's psychology, noting that anyone who shorted in here is essentially wrong. They're feeling pain as they close their trades. Maybe we get something like this. Okay. So we're not actually going to start trading for a gap, noting that it's not abundantly clear. And even if it were, it's a very small gap. And the risk here to trade for this reward based on this risk, the overnight high, it just doesn't make sense. So we have to flip our sort of script, if you will, and talk more about, you know, who's feeling pain, who's not, so on and so forth. And again, hopefully you can see how anyone wrong from today's session could potentially close their position, adding some buying pressure, taking us into that overnight high. That's the upside case. If we come back down firmly into range, then what are we watching out for? Well, quite simply put, everyone who was essentially short into the close, you can see that cascade here on some pretty decent volume. Um, anyone who was short there may start to re-add to their position, remembering that the overnight low is way down here at the 29.86. So I really wouldn't chase it short. I would kind of wait for a confirmation break, maybe underneath the low of day, underneath the close at 33.15. It's this prior high as well. Uh, and then maybe look for a little bit of downside here in play. And let's even see if we can trade that, right? If we come on over to the trade tab, yes, we certainly can. Easy to borrow in terms of shares. And the put contracts aren't honestly all that bad. I would say that you should probably stay away from the at the money and near the money strikes here. It looks like all of the interest was a little bit further out at the 30 strike. So 134 by 136. So a decent spread as well. Um, again, probably people speculating on earnings. So we'll ultimately see See where the volume comes in on tomorrow's session, but that's what I would, that would be my first inclination, right? Always go for where the volume is on your options contract. So back on over to the chart, just to sum up the video here, a couple of scenarios. If we open above and maintain above that, you know, like the first 30 minute bar or something like that closes above the high of the day here, look for maybe something like this. If we fall back into range, be patient, could consolidate, could do a number of things, really only activating a short if we take out the low of day there. And again, remember shares are easy to borrow here on thinkorswim at least. So I would probably opt for that instead of options, but either are doable inside of Dave and Buster's. That's really going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.